Good evening, y'all, and welcome back to Apron Strings. I'm still working on a birthday supper. Um, I showed y'all the unwrapped bacon wrapped green beans. Well, we're going to have some uh, sour cream chicken enchiladas, and I'm going to um, let y'all watch me make them, and that'll be part of Richard's birthday supper tonight. So I've already um, got my skillet with a little bit of oil in it, and you take your corn tortillas, and you just put them in there just for a minute on each side till they're bendable to where they don't break when you roll them up, and I'll try to show you on the next batch. And today I'm going to cheat and use some throwaway pans so cleanup will be a lot easier. So another thing that I've done to prepare, I grated some two pounds of Kobe Jack cheese. I don't know how much it's going to take, but I like a lot of cheese on them. Then you take two cans of Old El Paso green enchilada sauce. Now if your bunch will eat onions, cut you up an onion real small and saute it in some of the juice, some of the sauce until it gets tender. And then you add one can of milk to those two cans of enchilada sauce and the onions. And that's what you use a little bit in the, tor in the enchilada and then you pour it over the top and you'll see what I do with that. You need some cooked chicken, rotisserie chicken, cook your own, smoke it and shred it, whatever. You want chicken and sour cream. So I'm going to get started rolling some of these up and I'm just going to tilt the camera down where you can see what I'm doing and um, we'll get this part of supper finished and then y'all can make some for your family. I want to show you the difference in the tortillas. This one, if I rolled it, it might would break. These are real bendy because they're, they've been warmed in the oil. So I'm going to take one of my tortillas. I don't know if y'all can see real good or not. Let me, let me see what I'm doing here. Because I want you to see me rolling it. Okay, I think you can see now. I scooched it up a little bit. I'm going to put a little bit of sour cream inside, not a lot, this is just your regular teaspoon that comes with your silverware, and a little bit of chicken across there, and I'm using some of my Kate Pressure canned chicken. A little bit of your Kobe Jack cheese, and you want to use Kobe Jack, there's just something about it that makes a difference. And you want to put just a little bit of your enchilada sauce in there. And then you're just going to roll it up and put them in your pan just like I'm doing here. I'm just going to stack one by the other until I get this full and I'll probably make another pan because they freeze well and, and April can take some home for them for later. And I don't measure how much I put. You know how I cook. I just put a little of this and that. Now into this uh, green sauce I also added some garlic powder because I didn't want it bland. So of course I did garlic powder. Alright, I'm just going to continue making enchiladas and I'll bring y'all back when I do something new. Okay, I wanted to show y'all I put a little oil in the bottom of the skillet and I just run them around and you'll see that one side of it here will start bubbling up a little bit. And that's when we know that it's ready to take out. See those little air bubbles? And then I just layer them in there until I get quite a few done. And then I'll fill those and then I'll come back and do some more. But I run it around in the oil and then I flip it. And I'm not a professional Mexican food cooker. This is just how I do it. I had a cousin, Wanda, that gave me this recipe. Sometimes I make it, I layer it like a casserole, and sometimes I take time to roll it into uh, enchiladas. So I'm going to finish these, and then I will uh, finish making them, and I'll be back directly. Okay, once you get them all rolled, you usually have some leftover sauce and stuff, but you need to make it pan out to where you roll, you, uh, you're going to put sour cream on top of them, just like this. And 
This is what makes the sauce on the top of them when you um, dip them out. These are yummy, y'all. So I've used, I've made 24 enchiladas and I've used 16 ounces of sour cream and of course um, 24 corn tortillas and I, of course I didn't make mine. I bought the big package at Costco. And um, two cans of Old El Paso green enchilada sauce. Like I told you, you could either saute onion in it or use onion powder. And um, then you add one can of milk to the two cans and you warm it on the stove. So then after the sour cream, we're just going to put cheese on the top. And I like to grate my own. It melts better. It don't have that stuff in it to keep it from packing together. So y'all can do what you want to. Sometimes y'all know I cheat and use the other, but everything's better when you grate your own. So I'm going to use, I'm going to use that whole two pounds. So basically a pound of cheese uh, per 12 enchiladas. Okay. Now I'm going to take the leftover green sauce here. And I'm just going to spoon it over the top. And it will all melt with the cheese and the sour cream. And you want to talk about good. Oh my goodness, these are good. There you have it. And I get cheese under my fingernails and all over me, so I have to wash it off. But uh, I'm going to cover these with foil, and I'm just going to set them aside until I get ready to bake them for supper tonight. And when I uh, bake them, I'll bring y'all back and show you what they look like. You just bake them at 350, 400 until everything is just bubbly. You don't want it to brown. You just want everything bubbly and uh, together and like it's got a wonderful thick cheesy sauce on top. So I'm going to cover them and get on with the next part of the supper. Here's the enchiladas. All the cheese is melted. And I'll dish some up here in a minute and let y'all see what they look like. Well, y'all, another day, another time. I went to edit my video for my enchiladas and I either did it and lost the clip or I forgot to do an ending and show y'all when I dished up the enchiladas. But you saw the casserole dish of them when they came out of the oven. And I just go in and try to find where I put them together and scoop two at a time out. And that's what I do for a serving. But I don't have a picture of it because I guess I was so excited over having my youngins here and having a, a birthday celebration that I forgot what I was doing. But you got a good recipe. There will be a card at the end. A good recipe. And I showed you the method for making them. So now you can make some at your house. And uh, I think I told you, but if I didn't, I don't make homemade Spanish rice. I never have. Um, so I buy riceroni, the Spanish riceroni, and that's what I serve when I make enchiladas. So we did have some of that. And the dessert is coming up on the next video. Y'all will get to see what he has for, for his dessert. And uh, that'll be in a day or two. The good Lord bless and keep y'all. And tell y'all, I went to Walmart, I think it was yesterday. And sugar is up $2 for a 10-pound bag over what it was the last time I bought some. And everything else I looked at was higher. And our paycheck just didn't have any more money on it. So, again, what I've been telling y'all, you need to listen to me. Your wages aren't going to go up, but everything else is. So, while if anything you can afford to buy right now that y'all are going to need to eat for the rest of the year for the holidays... You might ought to go ahead and get it because it's going to be 2 or $3 per item higher and you're not going to have 2 or $3 per item more on your paycheck. 
So be wise and do what you can do where you won't have to do without stuff that you enjoy having. I'm going to um, get this video edited so I can get it uploaded and y'all can make you some enchiladas. And then we'll get on to whatever's next on my list. I'll see y'all at this butcher block in a day or two.